In this video, let's see uh, how to deploy Lambda functions using Terraform. I have created one workspace for this demonstration. Let's create our Lambda function that we want to deploy using Terraform code. So I'm writing a welcome.py. This lambda function simply prints welcome to a Terraform. Lambda functions takes two arguments. One is event and the other one is context. The idea is not to uh, demonstrate the use case of lambda function and the idea is to show you how to deploy lambda functions using terraform code for deploying lambda function we also need im role uh, let's create im role related resources first for managing all im related stuff i want to create a folder with im so then i want to create Terraform file for IAM role. I always prefer referring to documentation when we do code implementations. So I want to create IAM role and attach a policy to that IAM role. resource aws im role and policy this is the policy nothing but permissions and this is the reference to the role it should attach to it has assume role nothing but which says who is going to use this role let's copy this code here So paste it. Uh, let me do some changes. I will change logical name. Let's say lambda policy. Lambda policy. Okay. Uh, this policy document is inline. It's good to take it out from here and put it in a separate file. That's why I created IM folder here. Lambda policy dot JSON. Remove this marker. So what permissions I want to give to my Lambda function that we will change later on. So using file function in Terraform, let's load content of this JSON assigned to this one. I am slash lambda policy dot JSON. Now, so the policy is ready. Now let's prepare the role. lambda role let's also change the name so take out this from here keep it inside a separate json file so right click new file lambda assume policy dot json and make sure you're removing those markers uh, this assume role is for lambda so change ec2 and 
put it lambda there uh, use interpolation load the file double quotes required iam lambda assume policy dot json then we need to change this one replace that test underscore role with lambda role okay so the role and i am policy is ready let's execute this code and make sure the role is properly created for us but meanwhile before we execute let me change this for our lambda function we want to give access to cloudwatch just to send log messages to cloudwatch apart from that our lambda function doesn't access any other resources let's use online tools like aws policy generators to get our policy document i want to generate im policy effect is allow it is amazon cloudwatch logs i'm saying all actions but in real world scenarios we should create the policy specific to what access we want to give for lambda function so add statement generate policy take this change it okay now it's time to execute our code terraform in it when we uh, create new project when we run that first time we should execute terraform in it this init command initializes the current project with uh, providers and plugins after that it is terraform apply auto approve okay it's asking for region i'll keep it as ap south one perfect it has created im role so it's prompting me for uh, region i can avoid this by adding provided details inside our project let's have one more file with name provider.tf provider aws region ap south one which is mumbai so all right we are done with part one our im role is ready which is going to be used by our lambda function the next step is to create lambda function let's create one more terraform file lambda.tf again go to internet uh, check terraform documentation for lambda functions and complete this work lambda function open that role we already have i want this copy so file name i mean the zip to upload for deploying the function i want that to be welcome dot zip function name is also welcome so role we created i need to point to that role lambda role okay coming to handlers the format is 
our file name dot method name our python script file name is welcome and the method we want to call is hello welcome dot hello so when this lambda function is triggered it loads this script welcome dot pi in that it calls hello function let's take out this info so let me comment this code for now i'll explain you why that is required later on so runtime is python 3.7 we do not have any environment variables for this example the next task is to create a zip by including this welcome dot pipe terraform archive terraform has a resource archive it is not resource it is of type data using this we can create zip files type is zip this one i will change it to welcome type is zip the file to include in this zip is welcome.py and the output path where we want to keep that zip file i'll say outputs slash uh, welcome dot zip i am telling a data archive file to create a zip including this source file and keep it in this location so i want to use this here right and see i am repeating this value twice uh, tomorrow if i change this name i also should update here to avoid that to make it more maintainable what i want to do is i want to declare locals lambda chip equals otherwise uh, lambda zip location equals dollar local dot yeah so i'm declaring one local variable because i'm referring this same value twice it's better to declare as a local variable and refer that across the places where you want to use them we access local variables with syntax local dot variable name so if i change this it auto reflects in all the places okay so we are all good now let's execute and see if this lambda function deploys successfully let's do apply and wait for a while it says no suitable version for the provider okay let me install it again do apply invalid region it is ap south one okay we successfully executed the code and the lambda function is also created successfully let's go to management console and test the function so i am right now in aws management console i see welcome function there and i do see the function is successfully created 
I want to test this giving some uh, demo name to the event you can pass any event here because our lambda function doesn't do anything with this input so create it and test it is success we see welcome to terraform there now let me change the code and redeploy and make sure it is redeployed so apply if you see that it is not redeploying so when we change source code of function it has to redeploy but it's not doing that let's fix this so if you see this so this I commented earlier this will fix our problem so so in this place I will refer to this right so I'm using this source code hash such that whenever the file gets changed the hash code will change whenever hash code is different terraform understands that there is a change in source code it has to be redeployed i am executing terraform apply again to check is it redeploying yes now i see uh, one change which is uh, the function redeployment let's check this one again i want to make sure the code we updated is reflecting in the function yeah i added java home right so it is deployed i want to recheck one more time just without doing any changes to the function if i don't do changes to the function and do terraform apply it's not redeploy i haven't made any changes to my function i'm applying again now we should see zero added zero changed and zero destroyed it is working as expected so this is the tutorial on how to deploy lambda functions using terraform code thank you